tell you this whole light bulb 360 situation if I had a chance to go back and say a choice to do this again I don't think I would do it the results I didn't see immediate results I seen a little bit of results from the light bulb 360 from June the 30th till today. Just a little bit results on my upper abs, a little bit of uh, results, but I don't I, di I didn't see any immediate any immediate results from this Lipo 360. And it's called it's costly like between I could I could have did the surgery in Maryland. I should have did the surgery in Maryland. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just so excited like okay, I'm gonna do this. But between the travel expenses to go to Miami, between the five, paying for the fire high, um, the massages, um, the products that you need for the healing process for the surgery, it was costly when you don't see immediate results. They said that I won't be able to see the results that I actually desired until about at least a couple months down the road. Some people say they don't see the results that they desired until like at least six to a year, six months to a year, whereas though you have that snatched, that hourglass figure. Now, so a week post I. Um, the, the main like this discomfort and it's very dangerous to ladies, men, if y'all ever considering doing lipo, it's very vital, very important. I can't stress this enough. Very important to do the limp, the lymphothet, the, um, the lymphothetic fat massages. The lymphatic fat massages, the fluids. Like you retain so much fluid after the surgery, is it, it, it makes you sick and it's very painful. It's tend your 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 skin is tender to the touch because there's so much fluid that you're retaining underneath your skin from the surgery, the, the toxins from the surgery that it, you're in pain and it's actually um, dangerous because if you don't do the proper amount of massages and you're going to be actually doing massages uh, for a while because you're going to be retaining fluid. Your body has been through trauma, unnecessary trauma that you're, you're, rec you're recovering. So you have to do like periodically um, and I would say professional massages. Some of the girls say that they do the massages themselves. They can do it. But I haven't been able to do it because it's so painful to the touch where I'm like automatically like, oh, no, I'm I'm not I'm not touching that area. And I have to have like pain medicine. I have to make sure I'm taking my um, Percocets, muscle relaxants before I do these massages because I'm in so much pain from the the fluid that I'm retaining. And it's very important to try to stay away from sodium, salt. That's um, That actually um, like uh, assist in your fluid, um, retaining fluid. Like ladies, I don't, I don't think I would like, for the, the time that they say I would see results, I could have just went to the gym. I could have did dieting. I could have did this physically and saved myself about six thousand dollars, 
six or seven thousand dollars because, like I said, periodically you're gonna need to do these massages. I'm a, I get it done professionally, um, and it's eighty dollars a session to get it done professionally to get make sure I'm getting like um, Venus Cosmetics. They were good when I went to Miami, Doctor Louise Ramez. They were cool, but after I came out of surgery, the lady that was doing my massages, Spanish lady, she's pretty, very nice. She was doing the massages, but I noticed when I came in, when I came back to Baltimore, Maryland, and did the massages with um, it's a nice lady, Shay. If y'all in Baltimore, um, she has her own. Um, massage uh, business going on uh, that help people with BBLs and lipo. Her name is Shay. Um, but she was like, uh, she had to reopen up my incisions to release some of the fluid because I was like retaining a lot of fluid and that's very unhealthy. You, you don't get the fluid released and deal with the fluid, the, 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 fluid, the fluid that you're retaining. You can um, get blood clots. You can have blood clots, very dangerous for your health or you can get infections. You have to make sure you deal with the fluid that you're retaining. You're going to retain fluid. So it's very important that you make sure you do these massages and wear your fire high after Lipo 360 surgery. But the lady in Miami, she didn't like, she was giving me the massages because I was wondering why I didn't, I stopped draining. Like the day me and my sister, we, we were draining like that one day after surgery, the next day we stopped draining. Uh, 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 our incisions, our incisions closed up like just like that. Me and my sister are very healthy. We take hella vitamins, supplements. So our incisions were like closing up immediately. When I went to go get the massage done after the Lipo 360, the lady that was doing my massages, she was just doing massages. She didn't like op reopen up. I, I think she didn't feel though she needed to reopen up my um, incisions and release some of the fluid. But when I came back to Maryland on the 6th, um, on the 6th, the lady that did my massage in Maryland, she reopened, because I was like full of fluid, where it was so painful to move around, and my skin was like hard to the touch. Very, very tender to the touch. I was retaining so much fluid in my abdomen and my back. She's like, oh, my um, lady, she's like, you're, you're retaining a lot of fluid. And she opened up my incision. Some of my incisions weren't, weren't even um, able. She wasn't even able to open up because I healed so good. But the other incisions that she opened up, she pushed down a little bit and all this fluid started leaking. I feel like I was peeing. I feel like I was urinating on myself. So all this fluid started like, you know, like coming out. I was like, wow, oh my God. She said, yes, that's a lot of fluid. And a lot of these uh, females, you don't realize after these surgeries, they have to go through these massages to release the fluid. It's very dangerous if you don't make sure you're doing these massages. And I've also been um, like detoxing. Detoxing is very good too to get rid of the fluid because you can pee, you, you can pee it out. You, you can pee out the fluid. I've been detoxing. I've been um, drinking ginger. Uh, I'll take the ginger root, cut it up and boil it. I've been drinking lime um, to detox. You have to make sure you drink plenty of water. Plenty of water. Water, 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 water. So you can be able to urinate the toxins out the fluid that you're uh, retaining. But I'm feeling good. I'm starting to see a little bit results like from before the light bulb to now. But it's a process. It's not like an immediate, immediate process where though you come out of surgery and you think that you got this hourglass body no that's that's, that's not the case i'm like a heavy set lady anyway my BM, bmi was at 30 uh 32 when i went in so i'm thinking i'm gonna come out looking like beyonce no i got a long ways to go before i can be like oh wow you like you're snatched but if i was to do it again the pro like i said the process she said it could take anywhere from three to six months before I, I, I see the, the results that I was desiring. I could have just went to the gym and dieted, dieted, and, and, and saved me about $7,000 if I'm not going to see any immediate results. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. 
But yes, post op Lipo 360 a week after post op. I give it to Venus Cosmetics. They were cool. They did that. They did their job. I was nervous going in. The pro, they were professional. Um, I liked um, Joanna. Jo Joanna, she was very nice, beautiful personality. Um, Dr. Luis Ramirez, I really don't think he did the surgeon, the surgery. He, he I think he just like um, he's like teaching the other guys, or you know, um, Luis Ramirez. He's supposed to be the doctor, the actual surgeon that's doing it, but I don't really don't think he's doing it. He's old. He's old as crap. Seems like something he might have dementia. I don't know. But I don't think he did the surgery. I think he's just like, you know, teaching the other guys. But it, it, overall, I came out the surgery healthy. But like I said, I have to stress. I can't stress enough, ladies, men, if y'all ever thinking about doing lipo, make sure after y'all come out of surgery that y'all get these massages done. And preferably professional. Get professional. It's going to be costly. But get these massages done and make sure you're detoxing to get the toxins out. To, to, to take ginger, lime, whatever supplements you need to make sure you're detoxing so you can be the healthier version of you and have people hating on you because you look so goddamn good after Lipo 360 surgery. Yeah, Lady Baltimore, y'all have a magnificent day. I'm actually about to go to my girl Shay. She's in Baltimore, Maryland, to do my um, next massage. Um, if y'all in Baltimore, Maryland, y'all need these, um, like she does body cavities too to uh, to shape your body. Um, my girl Shay, I'll give y'all the information. But Hit like and subscribe. I'm actually going to start doing exercise videos, workout videos, um, videos on supplements to be able to build your immune system and, and, and look like amazing, like your skin glowing. I'm about, Lady Baltimore, about to start doing all of that. Show day. Ah! Love y'all. Salute.